everybody, Darren Slaughter, DarrenSlaughter.com. I felt compelled to shoot a quick video. I've been watching a bit of a series that a guy on Instagram, uh, I believe I'm going to tag him in this video. I believe his handle is Here's Johnny H on Instagram. He's a contractor, builder, and um, he did a quick series on handling stress. And, you know, I've watched it, and dude's legit. He's, he's a pretty straight up guy. And he's just talking about the stress and the, the aggravation and dealing with all the bullshit involved in construction. And he said something to me, or I think I read something in one of his, his, his comments that, you know, he had 60 guys at one point and now he's down to three. And honestly, I hear that that's probably one of the things that, that's the most common thread I hear when I talk to people is they'll tell me, you know, back in the day when things were good, I had, you know, 50 guys, 20 guys, 15 guys, 30 guys, and now I'm down to me and some subs or me and five other guys or me and two other guys or it's just me. You know, the, the ability to scale a construction business is tough. Um, from going from one truck to two trucks to five projects to three projects is, is a tough pill to swallow for a lot of, of guys and girls in this business. And managing people and running the business and doing all the things that are involved in running the day-to-day -day operations of a construction business, sometimes it's okay to just be small, be small. Be one man, be one girl, be you know a small team. Um, Amazon has this great, uh, Jeff Bezos at Amazon has this great philosophy. He, he doesn't put any, for as big as Amazon is, he doesn't put any team together that he can't feed. He doesn't make any team bigger than what he can feed with two pizzas. And that's a pretty decent, that's a pretty decent setup. Um, it's, you don't have to be big. And I think a lot of contractors who survived the crash, the recession, the whatever you want to call 2007, 2008, realize that it, it's okay to be small and it's you can still have a successful construction business without having to have 50 people on your payroll um, so I just wanted to add that I, I think if you can check out his his series on stress I think it makes a lot of sense I think he does some he really kind of digs in and, and gives you you know what he's feeling in his heart and and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to it because I hear a lot of it when you guys call me. So check him out. I think he's definitely worth, uh, worth watching. And I wish him luck and I wish you guys luck. And that's it. Have a good one. Bye.